everyone welcome to my channel medtech prospects i am overwhelmed to look at the response you had given for my first video thank you each and every one and i am expecting same level of support and encouragement for my future videos as well today i am going to talk about one of the most advanced technology in mechanical engineering that is after treatment systems in today's world you might have seen so many vehicles running on the roads liberating harmful gases such as carbon monoxide carbon dioxide unburnt hydrocarbons nox that is a combination of nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide and little amount of sulfur dioxide as well it is very important to reduce these emissions otherwise it will create negative effect on human mankind to give an instance people will suffer with respiratory diseases such as bronchitis asthma and allergy related issues as you know the emission and performance of any vehicles are deadly opposite to each other If you need higher performance or higher power then you have to compromise with emission that means higher the power higher is the emission on the other hand if you need lesser emission then you have to compromise with the power or performance of a vehicle that means uh, lesser the power lesser is the emission we do not require these two conditions at all we need higher the power and lesser the emission it is only possible by adopting after treatment system at the exhaust of vehicles dear friends let me explain the process of after treatment system through this slide so as you know the engine liberates harmful gases such as carbon monoxide carbon dioxide unburnt hydrocarbons nox which is a combination of nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide oxygen and a little amount of water these exhaust gases passes through after treatment system which comprises of four different catalysts such as doc dpf acr and aoc doc stands for diesel oxidation catalyst dpf is diesel particulate filter acr stands for selective catalytic reduction system and aoc is the ammonia oxidation catalyst here we have another component called dt which is a decomposed tube we are using urea water solution for the selective catalytic reduction system where different chemical reactions takes place to convert nox to nitrogen so that part i will come later let me go through doc first doc is made up of materials such as palladium platinum and aluminum oxide the main function of the doc is the oxidation of carbon monoxide hydrocarbon and particulate matter here carbon monoxide is oxidized to carbon dioxide as we know carbon monoxide is more dangerous than carbon dioxide hence doc helps to reduce carbon monoxide drastically secondly hydrocarbons and particulate matter is also oxidized to carbon dioxide and a little amount of water inside doc now nox carbon dioxide along with little amount of particulate matter and soot which came out from doc enters into dpf where it will undergo regeneration process dpf is made up of material such as silicon carbide cordite and ceramic fiber dpf has valve flow filters where significant amount of particulate matter and soot will get deposited which will in turn increases back pressure and fuel consumption there are two types of regeneration takes place inside dpf the first one is active regeneration where temperature of exhaust gas that is around 360 to 460 degree centigrade is enough to oxidize soot and particulate matter so that passage will become clear so that the break back pressure can be reduced the second one is the passive regeneration here high temperature is required to burn out some soot and particulate matters which are collected over a period in passive regeneration extra fuel is injected in the exhaust flow line so that temperature will reach 600 degree centigrade which will remove all the soot and particulate matter out from dpf if you do not carry out a regeneration process it will distract dpf so that more and more particulate matter and soot are emitted to environment dear viewers i understand that few of you may not understood the concept in detail at this point of time just keep in your mind that doc is mainly used to oxidize carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide and dpf is used to remove particulate matter and soot completely now we will move on to acr catalyst acr stands for selective catalytic reduction system acr is mainly used to convert nox to free nitrogen 
The SCR is typically made up of zeolite, vanadium, titanium, cordierite, copper zeolite, ferro zeolite and so on. But to convert NOx to free nitrogen, some reductant is required. You can use aqueous ammonia that is urea water solution, anhydrous ammonia and direct ammonia gas. Since ammonia gas is more irritant and slightly toxic, most of the automotive OEMs use urea water solution instead. The chemical formula of urea is NH2CO NH2 as shown in the slide. When the exhaust gas temperature goes above 200 degrees centigrade, the urea will undergo evaporation, thermolysis and hydrolysis process to convert urea into ammonia and isocyanic acid. During hydrolysis process, isocyanic acid will get converted to NH3 and CO2 as shown in the slide. Here. DT represents decomposed tube. It is made up of mixer blades and perforated plates. The main function of the DT to mix the mixture properly before it enters into SCR. In this slide, you can see exhaust gases enters DT from left side and urea water solution from the bottom. The properly mixed reactants enters SCR catalyst where ammonia mixed with nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide to convert free nitrogen and H2O. Here you can see the reaction where ammonia uh, combines with nitric oxide and oxygen to convert it into nitrogen and water. There is sometimes chances that ammonia will come out from SCR. This process is called ammonia slip. It is very important to convert ammonia to nitrogen by ammonia oxidation. It can be performed by AOC as shown in the slide. AOC is made up of noble materials such as rhodium, platinum and palladium. Here NH3 oxidized to free nitrogen and sometimes it oxidized to N2O, NO and NO2 also. Let me quickly go through another slide. Here you can see after treatment system in complete which comprises of diesel oxidation catalyst NOx sensor at the inlet which measures the inlet NOx concentration. You can also see urea doser which injects urea water solution to the decomposed tube. There are after treatment electronics also attached which will detect engine speed, engine load based on road conditions. Accordingly urea doser will inject urea water solution to the decomposed tube. The next catalyst shown in the figure is SCR catalyst. Dear friends, after treatment system comes with different varieties. For example, some after treatment system will have only DOC. Some will have DOC plus DPF. Yet another type will have DOC, DPF and SCR. And many times there is a combination of four catalysts you can see that is DOC, DPF, SCR and AOC. The reactivity of SCR catalyst mainly depends upon exhaust gas temperature. NO NO2 ratio that is nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide ratio, ammonia flow rate, residence time, type and material of catalyst. Coming to type of uh, type of catalyst, we have three types of SCR catalysts. They are plate type catalyst, corrugated type catalyst, honeycomb structured catalyst. Out of the uh, these three. Honeycomb structured catalyst showed maximum denox efficiency because of higher surface area available for the reactants to activate. Hence, it is most widely used. Let us go through this slide. In the first figure, you can see after treatment system is attached to the engine exhaust. In the second figure, that is at the bottom, you can see a truck equipped with after treatment system where a can is shown with circle mark which is urea water solution or it is also known as diesel exhaust fluid. In the third figure you can see typical SCR catalyst. All the catalysts looks almost same which has honeycomb structured core as shown in figure. But material and properties will vary one catalyst to another. Hope you understood the concept of after treatment system very well. You can also set up a simple test rig at your organization if you have an engine lab. You can carry out multiple experimental work and validate your work with simulation results. Coming to simulation, we have 1D simulation tools such as AVL Boost and GT Suit 
where they have a separate module called uh, after treatment systems. You can also explore to 3D CFD simulation with the help of tools such as AVL Fire, Star CCM Plus, Comsol Multiphysics, Converge, and ANSYS Fluid. Just to add on to 1D simulation, you can use the concept of seal, mill, and heal as I explained in my previous video. Coming to job opportunities for after treatment system, dear friends, if you just type after treatment jobs on Google, you will get n number of jobs in India as well as on abroad. In India, most of the companies such as Bosch, Continental, FEB, Farasia, Cummins, and most of the automotive companies offer jobs in after treatment technology. So my sincere request for all the mechanical engineering students, especially final year students, young tech students and research scholars, please take this technology as your field of study and explore more on this field. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you find my video relevant, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe.